The Matildas World Cup squad is here. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Lockie. This is Coast Watch Football. Not too long to go until the FIFA 2023 Women's World Cup and Tony Gustafsson has just announced his squad. And this is what it looks like in terms of positions. And I find this a little bit easier to read rather than just the list of names that they usually release. This is a very, very strong squad. A couple surprises maybe here and there, but overall, this is, you know, a really exciting squad. A squad that is capable, I think, of going deep in this tournament. Let's run through it now. So goalkeeper. Uh, positions. Uh, it is Jada Wyman who misses out in that department. So we've got Arnold, Micah, and Williams. Plenty of experience there. And defense is looking pretty strong. You know, Tony Gustafsson spoke in his press conference about the squad, how over the last couple of years, it's been a process of sort of bringing in new players, giving them experience in this Matilda squad. And we've got Carpenter and Grant at right back. Kennedy, Hunt, Pockinghorn, and Lewick to be the central defensive options. And Catley and Nevin. And there's players there, you know, that could slot, you know, anywhere across that back line. That's the exciting thing too about this, not just in defense, but across the lineup, there's a whole lot of versatility. So the positions that I've listed here aren't necessarily, you know, those players aren't locked to those positions. We can see a bit of rotation around the park, especially in midfield here. I mean, Cooney Cross, Wheeler, Gorry, Yallop, and then Fowler, Van Egmond, Chidiak, and, you know, even Van Egmond playing more of a defensive midfielder these days. I think for me, Fowler's probably that main number 10 player. But whether we shift things around, play more of just a 4-3-3 or more leaning towards the 4-4-2, we've seen Tony Gustafsson shift, you know, between different systems. Uh, but the forwards is where it, where it gets really exciting. I mean, we've got Caitlin Ford, of course, Sam Kerr, Kai Simon makes the squad, uh, and Rasso and Vine. And of course, all those wide players especially can play across either wing. I'm sure, you know, plenty of those midfield players, if we needed to, could play in a wide position if needed. But the players that did miss out from the 29 player squad that was announced the other week, so that is Larissa Crummer, uh, Emily Gilnick, Chloe Legazzo, Amy Sayer, Remy Simpson, and Jada Wyman. So plenty of attacking players there, especially when you look at the strike area, you know, maybe some eyebrows raised in terms of the selection of Kai Simon over someone like Larissa Kramer or Emily Gilnick, who are maybe different kinds of players, different types of players compared to Kai Simon. But I think we have to trust Tony Gustafson. This squad has been one of the biggest things uh, in his career. The announcement of the squad has been one of the biggest jobs of his career um, over the last few years, and it's been building to this over the last few years. He knows what it's going to need to take in order to be successful at this tournament. And if that is, you know, selecting someone like Kai Simon to maybe come off the bench, have a bit of an impact, then, then we're going to place our faith in him. And this is what my lineup looks like. So I'm going for that uh, sort of that 4-2-3-1 or a 4-3-3 if you like. Mackenzie Arnold in goals I think is a lock for me. And then that defense plenty of experience there. I mean we've got Carpenter Kennedy, Polkinghorn, Catley as well. Really really solid defense. I think that's Australia's strongest defense for this World Cup. I've been loving the combination of Katrina Gori and Kyra Cooney Cross in when you think back to the recent friendly games against uh, against England and Scotland. I thought they both played very very well. Uh, especially the Cooney Cross, someone who can push forward as well, more of a more of a box-to-box -box midfielder, plenty of energy in that midfield. Mary Fowler is one that I'm really excited to see how she goes in this tournament. I feel like we almost still haven't seen her best, you know what I mean? Like uh, in a Matilda's shirt. She has so much potential, so much flair, so much excitement and, and talent. And this is a massive stage and the kind of stage that a player with the potential of Mary Fowler could really step up and, and be someone who can win games for Australia. Front three for me, I think feel like that picks itself, Rasso, Ford, and Kerr. Easily could slot Courtney Vine in any of those wide positions. The dynamic uh, between those three players, for me, is really, really exciting. Uh, Sam Kerr up top, obviously, that's the easiest pick in this team. But for me, that's a winning team. Whether we get caught out defensively in midfield and transition, maybe that's a worry here and there. We're going to have to make sure our organization is right where it needs to be in order to contest, because even in the group stage, coming up against some good signs. But for me, this is our winning team for the Matilda. Guys, thanks for tuning into this video. This is a very exciting squad. There's going to be plenty of FIFA Women's World Cup content coming up here on the channel. My name is Lockie. This is Coastwood Football. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.